all right you guys welcome back to your daily dose now this the, recording this it, it might end up uh the camera battery is only on two uh two 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 batteries right now so it's like you know it's not even it's it's, it's not really charged okay so uh this video might end and i might do a part two I wanted to talk about the law of detachment and the reason I wanted to talk about the law of detachment is because one thing I want to let you guys know is that in this video please do not assume that you have to detach from your entire desire of wanting to have what you want and the reason I say this is because I have heard a lot of people within the law of attraction community talk about how you should detach from certain things and I mean you should detach from the the manifestation period okay now i do want to share with you guys something that i wrote down because this is something where i have a attachment that i've noticed that i've had an attachment problem to people and i had this huge attachment problem to um my ex-girlfriend very very bad but the because of this attachment problem that i've i've noticed that i've had i've been able to become aware of this and now that i am aware of this i know what to do to change it and i know how to detach from the limiting beliefs of everything that i feel that is around the uh what i created because this entire situation that i have filmed and i've showed you guys and i've told you guys about is a manifestation of my limiting beliefs and what i believed because and i've never believed that i was able to be um worthy of a healthy loving and committed relationships so the pattern of me having these unhealthy relationships is because the unhealthy relationship i have with myself as well as the negative beliefs of feeling as if uh the negative beliefs of love and surrounding love completely so i want to share this with you guys and i hope that this gives you a you know this actually helps you guys to see and i'm going to explain this afterwards too hopefully the camera doesn't die um i could never understand why it's been so difficult to love you to put you first oh wait no 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 no, not that that's that's different <laughs> my bad that was a letter to myself actually okay i have came to the realization that i'm attached to jocelyn and that's her name and during and after the relationship i went as far to quit my job and pack my things to move across the state for her even giving her money putting her needs first and worrying about how she felt what she was lacking it was always jocelyn comes first and i ended up forgetting about me waiting on her to call slash text me every day talking about her 24 7 and buying her things and making sure she was happy okay and putting her happiness above mine putting myself in debt i lack the mental capacity the boundaries and letting her talk to me any kind of way and putting my trust in her not trusting myself i kept doing and giving and giving until i finally lost myself and lost almost everything i had um that's why i'm choosing to let go and detach because i lost myself me alizé because i assumed that this woman had more value to my life and was bringing more value to my life and depended on her to give me just that because i was afraid to lose her i'm afraid that she will leave me like everyone else i'm afraid to be alone so i accepted what little she gave to me because deep down that's what i thought i deserved now the reason i'm sharing this with you guys is because i want you guys to know that once you become aware of your limiting beliefs and once you become aware of where you went wrong in the process of creating the man the manifestation that you didn't want or wherever the the belief system that you have you were able to change that so because i was able to admit that i was lacking the uh the, the the mental capacity and uh and setting boundaries and because i was lacking self-respect for myself and not knowing my worth and i was putting this girl first i was i was uh acceptable to the mistreatment that she was giving me because in the in the, my core belief system is that i am not worthy of love i am not worthy of a person being consistent of a healthy committed relationship or someone who really cares about me so i accepted this mistreatment this does not mean that what she did was right this does not mean that she is not supposed to be held accountable but this means that i have to hold myself accountable and this has also helped me to realize that i cannot give I cannot project hatred. I cannot project uh, 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 a negative um, meaning behind this because 
after all I have came to this awareness that it is me that has allowed these things and this is a pattern this is how majority of my relationships have been and how they have ended because I have never saw myself as being good enough so I have went above and beyond because I was afraid of being alone and I was afraid of not feeling needed by somebody or I was always looking for the outside to validate my needs and that's what I did with this woman I wanted her to validate me I wanted her to even if the mistreatment meant her hanging up in my face calling me cursing me out whatever the case may be oh she's calling me what's up even talking to her for two minutes the conversation would end she'll hang up in my face all of these type of things these were things that I would be accept I would be accepting knowing that truthfully I did not deserve this but I was accepting it because when I was younger and in my childhood my mother had walked away and I did not have a healthy relationship with my father and because of those things that have happened to me and those traumatic experiences in my life I have realized that the pattern has continued to shape due to my negative due to my limiting subconscious beliefs and because of that I have decided to change that and I decided to apply the law of detachment to not detach completely and fully from the manifestation but to come to detach away from people and to not be so attached to um, the uh, uh, the outcome be so attached to another person be so depending codependent um, having that codependency because one thing I don't want to do is to continue to manifest because it's going to keep continuing to happen with the same with another person if I don't change it so because I decided to write this out I was able to help myself and see where I went wrong and um, throughout the situation now like I said people do things to us but people don't do those things that people do to us that does not mean that they are not to supposed to be held accountable for what they do but what this does mean is it allows us to look at it from a standpoint of and observe from where we went wrong so that's why I put these experiences out and I tell you guys these things because I got I want you guys to know that when you are manifesting your subconscious beliefs are the most important thing of all because whatever our subconscious is that 95% okay and I'm gonna continue to stress this on my channel whether it's repetitive or not that 95% I'm sorry if you guys see any blood. My lips have started bleeding and, you know, I don't know if I'm having an outbreak yet. But anyway, so those, you know, <clears throat> um, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, um, those 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 beliefs that stem from our childhood and the trauma that we have witnessed and we have been been through and have undergone through our lives are a manifestation of our present and future uh, uh present I say future because future is tomorrow present moment at this at this very moment but we can change that okay and the way I decided to change it was I decided to do some work I haven't touched my phone I haven't talked to nobody because I'm not in the mood to talk to anybody not because I am you know I just need that time to really get these this these beliefs in 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 um in order this does not mean that I am going to now me and this person Jocelyn and I, we are not in contact with each other. We do not talk to each other. As of yesterday, she had blocked me. We both blocked each other. We do not talk to each other. No, we don't. However, <clears throat> because before she didn't block me, but what escalated it was me getting upset and lashing out on her and telling her how she made me feel. And then I ended up hurting her, saying things that hurt her. She ended up saying things that hurt me. She ended up making fun of me for having herpes. She ended up telling me these, you know, uh, you know, saying I was ugly and all these type of things and these are beliefs that I've had within myself for a very long time and I'm not saying what she was right about and I'm not saying oh this that and you know I, she's right no but what I am saying was the beliefs that we have about ourselves are going to be projected back to us so energy is very powerful so deep down inside there was a place in me that wasn't accepting that I do have herpes there is not a place in me that's accepting that I don't believe that I am attractive and clearly it's showing up in my reality because it keeps manifesting into these um, these and it keeps manifesting into this same this same pattern that's been happening for many years now the reason I decided to talk about the law of detachment is because I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying detach from the outcome of what's gonna happen you can desire whatever you want you can visualize it all day you could do whatever you want it doesn't mean that you're obsessed you detaching from the limiting belief that you are not worthy enough and that you are not deserving of what you want and knowing that you can turn it around you can turn any situation around you can turn it around even if that means that you have that you and that person 
may not be in contact at this very moment just for you to work on yourself is fine and i am okay with not being in contact with her i am okay with uh not talking to her because i need that time and this space to build a healthier foundation and foundational relationship with myself and set boundaries and know that i am not to, i should not be attached to people and seek validation from the outside world and know to focus on myself and to know that i should know my worth and know who i am and what i am worthy of okay because what is important is me right now okay and the reason i'm saying that i am accepting things how they are now is because things are going to change they will of course they're changing all the time time changes so do manifestations so do manifestations so does the world everything is shifting every every minute every second every hour whatever but i know that if i continue to allow this uh this this negative this 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 um poor relationship with myself i'm going to continue to attract the the same energy and it's it's only going to lead up to me being susceptible because i'm not changing my beliefs okay so understand that when you are in the process of changing your beliefs you want to be aware of these things and you do want to write this stuff down that's why i do have a journal and i will be journaling and i will be studying every day and filling my head up with um positive um uh positive feedback and learning more i've watched joe dispenza on what to do and how to actually trick the mind the mind does not necessarily know what is real and what is not real so you can tell yourself that you're already uh living in the house that you want like i myself i'm gonna say this i am manifesting to have my own place yes i am i'm just gonna put it out there but i've told myself i already have it so because i've already done that and because the brain just cannot differentiate from what is real and what is not real you are able to affirm that into being and already when you're affirming that feeling the thought is going to become the feeling okay once again the thought is going to become the feeling so please if you are working on when you're applying the law of detachment don't detach from your desire detach from the limiting beliefs of the desire and um, open your mind and be aware that you made this mistake this has happened this this happened boom i see it whatever now going back to when i said to self internalizing when people are giving us are, are criticizing us are telling us things and are making us feel like we're not good enough and all that other stuff do not self internalize other people's thing because people's thoughts and opinions and how they view and how they say things about us is truly how they view and feel about themselves so don't get that confused okay now going back to what i was saying now because of what happened and what was said was i angry at what was hap what happened i didn't cry i was i said to myself deep down inside i said you know what she's upset because of a way i came at her i'm upset because of a way she came at me so we both hurt each other hurt people hurt people okay so because of that i have to ask myself alizé what type of relationship do you have with yourself to where you can't you're building unhealthy relationships with other people outside of you and whatever you're projecting within you are getting that same energy given back to you in return okay so remember that the subconscious beliefs in that core belief of which you believe so yes i had to admit to myself i am upset i had to admit that i was upset at her and i was upset about a lot of things but i told myself that i have to forgive myself and i have to forgive her and i have to be open to love i have to be open to trust i have to be open to you know um loving myself trusting myself again i have to be open to uh uh, uh being able to know that okay and not look at things in such a negative way and say oh no f people and this and that i was mad y'all i was very upset i was in this very you know I, I i was in this in this state this very low state and i had to get up this morning and take my power back i'm not going this is not my reality this is not the reality that i want this is not the reality i'm going to choose to exist in i'm going to exist in the new reality and that doesn't mean to wait that means to start now so get off your ass pick up your feelings and honey write it down if you have to write down even this look I, i'll even share you i'll even share up share you this i'll share you guys this hold on give me a second okay so um okay here we go 
I could never understand why it's been so difficult to love you, to put you first and accept you. I've been searching for love and looking at it in all the wrong places. It was you all along. Your imperfections are what make you perfect. That smile, those eyes, those lips, those cute baby cheeks, and that funny sense of humor. Truth is, I never felt worthy or good enough. I was looking for validation from others and expectations, but all the while you were there. You've been here since day one. I turned my back on you. My number one fan and support motivator. Too arrogant and blind to realize. It's been you who I needed all along, Alizé. And I have to tell myself, and I'm going to read this to myself every single night before I go to sleep and every single morning when I wake up, to remind myself and to tell myself that I don't need the validation from everybody else. I don't need uh, to be in a relationship to feel good. I don't need this person in my life to feel good either, okay? I don't need to be susceptible. I don't need to be accepting the mistreatment um, just because I'm scared of being alone, but because I am not afraid to admit that, yes, I am afraid. I I I was afraid of losing her, okay? I was afraid of losing Jocelyn. I was afraid of, uh, 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 I was afraid of being alone. But because I was, I'm able to admit that and sit here on this camera and tell you guys this, this lets you know that I am aware of what, I am aware of my limiting beliefs. And I am aware that because of the traumatic experiences and the things that I've undergone as a child has shaped my reality as of today. I'm not afraid to admit that because that is a start and that is where you begin and that my that my 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 my, my daily doses my beautiful babies that that is change that is change okay now as far as going into like therapy and stuff like that I am going to go to therapy so it doesn't stop here <laughs> I do need to go to therapy um and I need to you know one thing that um like my therapist was telling me she said, Alize, you are aware of the things. You are aware of these things. But this doesn't mean, you know. And I had to listen to Dylan's, um, what, what was this? Dylan's, um, goddamn, um, Dylan saying, stop letting go and surrendering to the desires you want. I have to listen to that. I had to listen and keep listening. I started to go back to read Emotional Advantage. Um, I started to, you know, really, you know, read my books. I clean, I clean, you know, I uncluttered my space in my room and I said, you know what, I'm going to make the most out of what I can control right now. I cannot control what happens behind the scenes. I cannot control that, but I do control what happens right now in front of me. And I can say that I am choosing to be happy. This doesn't mean that I'm ignoring my emotions. I've, ex I've, I have a, a, a mood journal where I write out and I say, I'm typing out in my book right now because I need to buy me some more books but um i'm going to get a mood journal to where i um actually can write down my mood if i'm not feeling good i'm gonna say i'm not feeling good today and i i, I admitted to myself and i said these are things that i decided to admit to myself and i want to share this with you guys as well because i want you guys to be you know um you guys are my family so i want you guys to uh see these things that i have shared it says i am attached i said to people okay and to outcomes i go above and beyond for the next individual in relationships they fail i have no boundaries and i allow people to treat me a certain way because i am scared to be alone and i look for validation from others outside of me to tell me that it's okay or to make my own decisions i am a people pleaser and when i like someone i become too codependent on that person to make me happy and feel loved my mother was not there my father and i don't have the help uh, uh I, I i didn't have a healthy relationship when i was growing up with my dad i was picked on and made fun of when i was in elementary and middle school i never loved myself i never knew my worth so i chased after loved and assumed that it would be received from the outside world even if it meant that the treatment was bad i was afraid to be alone i care too much about what everyone thinks of me and the relationship i have with myself is toxic because i don't show for me but i show for everyone else and then that's when i said i was attached to jocelyn now this isn't to shame jocelyn in any kind of way and i don't want to you know i know i said i don't want to put names and stuff like that i'm not putting her name out here to shame her to put anything you know whatever the case may be no I have nothing against that girl whatsoever um i actually decided to wake up and to just take my power back and say that these people relationships like uh they are meant to be and they're meant they're meant to enjoy i want to enjoy the relationship with myself therefore i want to be able to enjoy a relationship with others i don't want to put i am no longer going to be attached to anybody i am no longer going to and i'm going to really work on this by really um uh, uh um because the building myself concept 
and really facing my limiting beliefs and being real with myself and changing that because I was sitting here in distraught and sadness and I'm like what the what the hell am I doing like what what who wants to do that I want to bounce back from this okay this situation happened but you know what in the back of my mind I had a very negative limiting belief that this probably would have happened you know and because I was thinking so negative because let me tell you the story between me and her she was not like that in the beginning Jocelyn respected me because I had confidence within myself and because I wasn't focused on her and I didn't make her the highlight of my day she loved the confidence that I had within myself because I was I had this strong self-concept and as the relationship formed the insecurities and the beliefs of not feeling good enough and all these other things happened blah 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 now last night she had expressed to me that she cheated on me during the relationship honestly if you cheated on me, hey, it is what it is. I mean, it happened, it happened. I'm not saying that I was I'm worthy of that. What the fuck? I'm not worthy to be cheated on. No, hell no. But, you know, like, you know, whatever was said. And then I, honestly, I just feel like in the back of my mind, I just felt like she was saying things to upset me. Um, truthfully, to really dig deep, especially when she said what she said about my herpes and stuff like that. I felt like that's why she did what she did. But at the same time, I told myself, okay, let me take a step back and let me really focus on myself and love myself and build an awesome ass relationship with myself. So when the next person that, you know, or the next people that come into my life, friends, whatever, you know, that is where I'm able to have healthy relationships and I'm able to also tell people, hey, don't talk to me like that. These are the boundaries that I set for myself. I'm no longer going to be giving people money and passing it out like it's no tomorrow. I'm not doing that because I've realized that I am not just uh I'm, I'm not um I shouldn't be just seen because I just make it rain I am more I am more than that I am a goddess and I am a beautiful woman okay just because I have herpes that doesn't make me that doesn't mean that any 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 woman is gonna love me any less no I'm still beautiful and I am a beautiful woman and even if I may not believe that now the more I continue to put uh invest as much as i was investing in this woman and investing in 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 what i in, in 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 her i need to put that same energy into myself and as long as i invest in myself love myself and put myself first and work on this beautiful foundational relationship with myself and just be happy that i have a place to stay i have a roof over my head and i was able to uh 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 uh, uh you know and and know that work is coming i'm gonna get me a job i'm gonna start doing what i do but when I do I'm gonna be paying back my debt doing what I need to do and you know what I'm not even gonna be working at worrying about getting a nine to five I'm gonna be worrying about growing my channel posting my videos and enjoying the content that I love to put out because really what I want is I want to be the best youtuber ever and I want to work for YouTube and that's what I want to do and I want to put content out I want to be out there going to seminars speaking in crowds i want to speak to crowds this is this is the lifestyle i want and that's why i'm putting it out and that's exactly why the uh even with me writing the stuff that i write down all of this stuff can i have so many i have so much talent you know and it's not even just about talent but it's because I have so many I have so many passions that I'm passionate about and I'm gonna put that love into into the passion and put it into myself and put it within myself if that means turning off my phone for a week and not talking to nobody then so be it because honestly right now Alizé needs to love her and she needs to put herself first okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said you're gonna subscribe to the channel because I'm amazing but I do want to let you know Alizé.mills.1 reach me on my Instagram alizémills 6 at gmail.com guys if you want to do collaborations with me we can do collaborations i talk about mental health i talk about it all okay except for politics i'm i'm just not into that uh this channel is i am going to be making the second channel though but y'all go that's gonna be a little surprise for y'all though that's gonna be a little surprise for y'all but i can't wait until y'all see this and like i said this is not to bash the person you know i still um i I, I do care about that person but I show it, it helps me to be more compassionate towards her and to see that I have to hold you know I have to really see that okay I can't allow people to treat me this way because you allow people to do stuff they see you don't care about yourself what's gonna happen all right so like really guys when you're manifesting and when you're changing <clears throat> if you let me tell you guys this before I go 
if you don't want to change don't manifest if you don't want to admit your limiting beliefs don't manifest and the only reason i say that is because manifesting is not about getting what you want it's about becoming the badass that you know you were meant to be once again manifesting is not about getting what you want it's about becoming the badass you know you were meant to be and you know who you are be you know who you already are so stop waiting and start now i love you guys